Hey guys, Ariska and Mosey here, and Hello. as you can see, we're doing things a little differently. We're in her room this time. Switching it up. Switching it up. It's a little more colorful in here, <laughs> at least as far as you guys can see. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we went to see the new Resident Evil movie, Resident Evil The Final Chapter. Yes. If you have not seen it yet and don't want to know what happens, I would exit out of this video because we are going to be the biggest spoilers to ever spoil. Sorry. Oh, but if you have seen it or you don't care about being spoiled, then get ready because we're going to talk. Starting right about now. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm gonna start off. I like I know that hardcore Resident, Resident Evil fans that love the games generally hate the movies mm. because they don't feel like it's true to the game and all that. And I get that. Mm. Like I, I I could see where they would how they would feel that way. Mm. But then at the same time, like I personally love the games and the movies just because it's supposed to be like its own universe. Right. Like it's it's just supposed to use the names and the appearances of the characters. And it's not... very loosely based. Exactly. Like it is not meant to be canon or anything like that. It's at least it's not with the game. No. Yeah. Like it's really just fan service. And it's fun, it's entertaining. I love Mila Jovovich. And yeah, so uh, so yeah, that that is that. <laughs> Cause she's the Resident Evil expert here. I am. I do love me. I love me the Resident Evil games at least pre four. After that, things started going a little downhill. But yeah. that's a story for another day. Story for another time. This is a movie review. <laughs> this is a movie review. But I am excited. I'm probably gonna buy Resident Evil Seven soon and try it out and see if it's any good. So. It looks really scary. It looks really scary and really intense and different. That demo was right. That demo was terrifying and it looks different, but it's not. It's still going back to survival horror, and I like right. that. Right. But yeah, so basically, this movie takes or starts off where the last one kind of ended mm -hmm. and spoilers in case you didn't see spoilers <laughs> <laughs> basically you remember that chris was or not chris okay apparently i got chris on the brain <laughs> <laughs> that alice had been brought to dc by wesker along with jill leon ada i'm trying to think if anybody else survived i don't remember i don't think so but yeah. it was them and they were gonna like help take down Umbrella because Wesker gave her her powers back and yeah and so he was on he was turning against Umbrella he was on the good side now well you find out at the beginning of the movie that was a load of bullshit because you should know by now Wesker's full of BS Wesker sucks I hate him the fact that she believed him I was like really like really Alice really because basically she's the only one left alive jill leon and ada we assume we're all dead it was heavily implied that they're dead heavily implied. they're not brought up in no. at all well they mentioned you're supposed to take care of a problem and mm. you didn't so yeah. exactly so they're all dead and basically alice is told by the new red queen y'all mm. remember her if y'all remember the first movie but basically she's been on a 48 hour mission to go retrieve the antivirus from raccoon city from the hive where everything all started yeah because of course umbrella made an antivirus for the t-virus because mm -hmm. they're like well what if it gets a little too out of control and then it did and then what they do nobody used it they're like well but i guess we'll get to why that happened exactly the action is really good like yes at first the first like kind of few jump scares I was very unimpressed. I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be like this throughout this whole movie. Like, if you've seen a Resident Evil movie, you know where the jump scares are gonna be. Yeah. You're expecting it, you're seeing it coming. But after that, it got got way past jump scares. It was okay. Now, I love action movies. I love, like, Mission Impossibles or, like, Fast and the Furious. Like, give me action. I'm all about it. This movie did not lit up not one bit. It was 24-7 action. Like, even when there was a little bit of dialogue, usually some action either soon followed or, or it was Just stopped. Yes. <laughs> like, ooh, or it was happening during the dialogue. Yes. <laughs> like, there's action constantly going on, and it's, it's intense. It's a very intense movie. I suggest sitting in the middle of the theater 
if mm -hmm. you do go see it in the theater. Don't sit right next to the speakers. Don't make our mistake. Because we did, and I'm partially <laughs> deaf in this year. <laughs> um, but hey, I guess it comes with the territory. Oh my god, it was so loud. I did not expect it to be so loud. No! And then, like, by the time we had sat down, like, there were a lot of people there, so we couldn't just get up and move somewhere else. So get there early. <laughs> get, get in the middle. Or just get away from the speakers. Because, you know, we thought it would be safe, because everybody likes to shit on the Resident Evil movies. So we're like, oh, nobody's gonna be there. No one's gonna see it. I'd say, like, half of that theater was filled. It was a decent amount of people sprinkled. And we weren't even, like... That's it, we were in a like, medium-sized theater. Yeah, it was very average. Yeah. But yeah, and so, uh, Claire makes a return. She is back. Mm -hmm. um, She's like with this group of like resistance type people mm -hmm. in it, Raccoon City. Because I don't know if it's the same resistance group that she used to have, and it's just the survivors have like diminished even more, or if these are new people. Right. But, um, but yeah, so she's still doing good. Uh, there were some major plot twists. Mm -hmm. um, biggest one, spoiler, don't want it, turn it off. <laughs> um, turns out Alice has been a clone Yeah. of the founder of Umbrella who created the virus, James Marcus. He had a daughter named Alicia, and he formed the Red Queen after her likeness. Like the child likeness. Exactly. And then Alice, how she is, is like her adult Exactly. So we get to see fabulous Mia, Mila with her pearls and her bob looking all old, mm -hmm. being a badass. Like, and at the end she gives new Alice her memories because Alice somehow survives after d unleashing the cure. Yeah, I guess since she wasn't fully zombified, mm -hmm. it took care of the T-virus within her without killing her. Exactly. Like, since she had not transformed into something evil, yeah, she was okay. Yeah. So... I personally enjoyed it. I thought it was good, good wrap up for the series. Mm -hmm. But then they, then it got weird, and I will say the end dragged on, cause like movies are prone to do nowadays. <laughs> <sighs> it's just like we really have to have bad guys survive like six different times, really, Thank really, you. like really. <sighs> but it got weird because in an interview, Mila said that this is the end. As of right now, there aren't going to be any more. But then at the end, they left it almost on a cliffhanger, as if there are going to be more. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm like, wait, <laughs> like, like what's going on? <laughs> like so, cause yeah, like the way she's like headed into like Manhattan, like in New York, it looks like, mm -hmm. um, or it could be Manhattan, Kansas. Who knows? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere's demolished at this point, so everywhere's pretty much the same. It's all rubble. But yeah, and she says that like her fight is not over, her mission's not over, because since the T-Virus was airborne and not however it was distributed the first time. It wasn't deliberate, like, right. it was the first time, which you learn in the movie. But um, but yeah, and so it kind of ended on her taking on new tasks in this exactly. new world. You yeah. see like a shadow of a flying monster, and so you're like, whoa, I thought... Everything was dead. Right. Because I'm like, if that didn't have the T virus, does that have the G virus? <laughs> right. Does it have the, the ZXQ virus? Like, what is this? <laughs> what is this monstrosity? Right. Yeah, I, for a person that wasn't, like, in the Resident Evil fandom, I enjoyed it. Uh, she introduced me to all the other movies. And I say this one, out of all of them, the most action packed. Definitely. Like, <laughs> don't watch those and feel like okay now I'm ready for like this homecoming. You're not right. ready for homecoming. <laughs> You're Ooh, not ready. Never ready for homecoming. <laughs> oh, cause yeah, it's just like the first five movies like pretty much already set up all the story they needed to. Yeah. And so yeah, like this last one was definitely more action packed, and the only like plot you really got was just them giving the plot twists and like wrapping everything up. Yeah. Like, if you're a person that really likes, you know, clean finishes, I feel like that movie provided that. And it mm -hmm. just it just gets to the story, it gets to the action. Exactly. It doesn't focus on, like, the building up of, like, the team that's with Claire. Right. Like, Alice, ex she climbs out the rubble in D.C. Mm -hmm. She makes her way to Raccoon City after the Red Queen talks to her. She, like, deals eventually. with some... Eventually. <laughs> She gotta deal with some baddies in the meantime. Which, 
Speaking of, okay. There's some squeaky parts. And I don't mean like necessarily bloody or gory per just, se. It happens and you're like, ugh. It's a lot of painful, <laughs> it's a lot of torture porn almost. Like, I would hear her like groan a lot. I was just like, because <laughs> there's some things like, spoiler, you just see a hand get cut off. And you're just not ready for that. You mm. don't think, oh, she's going to cut off his hand. No, no, like, you don't think like, oh, she's going to punch him and then her hand is going to crunch. Like, just, just, <laughs> It's so old. Like, she wanted to die. I did. It was, it was that bad. <laughs> like, I saw her, like, hold her hand. She was like, oh. <laughs> like, I think, like, legs got broken. I'd see her go like, oh. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> it, was, it was a rough time for this one for a little bit. <laughs> it was, and I watched some rough movies, but that was. Like, she watches Hannibal. <laughs> I watched Hannibal, guys. This was rougher than Hannibal. <laughs> Resident Evil took the cake. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, she starts uh, She starts off the movie the way she does all of them by introducing everything, having mm -hmm. her little voice over, and so even if you haven't watched the first five movies, pretty much if you just the intro will just give you the idea of what's going on. Pretty much, like you, I feel like yeah, you can pick up with it. You don't have to. Exactly. If you don't want to. Like watching the first five will help you with like minor things yeah. minor references but uh, it, I don't think it would take away from it no it wouldn't take away from the overall story I don't think Mia Jovovich is bae mm -hmm. love her Ali Larder is amazing I'm mad that I started to like Ruby Rose <laughs> so I did not like her for the longest time I thought she was annoying and she was in that and I really liked her she was so likable mm -hmm. and I was like alright you know what fine Ruby Rose whatever you know half bad girl like, I take some of what I said back. <laughs> it gets stupid. Like, it, it, like, just certain things you're just like, really, really, really doing this right now. <laughs> okay. Like, it's not bad. It's just like, uh, like, understanding why people don't like these movies. <laughs> you get, like, because I was actually going to mention, when we were talking about this before the video, like, thinking of what we were going to say. I forgot I was going to mention it, but okay, there's like your token black guy that's in there. Not only does he die, I kind of didn't feel bad because he had the worst lines. His lines were terrible. That's like, he really like, they didn't use him enough. Like, he was not important, unfortunately. He was just there yeah. so that they could say, oh, we had a black guy, we're not Diversity. racist. So I'm like, well, y'all already killed Ashanti, so I say y'all are racist. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but for real, though, like, one of his lines was, okay, so somebody's like, well, what are we going to do? And then he says, yeah, what are we going to do? And I'm like, okay. <laughs> you were so mad. I was just like, shut up. Don't be stupid. Like, what are we going to do? Like, you really need to reiterate it. Like, y'all are in a dire crisis situation. Let's like not do that i'm just saying it's really not necessary See, I'm just like, so really we're just gonna kill the token black guy we're gonna t kill the token lesbian like really 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 but whatever you know and the, at the end there's a lot of like female empowerment that i was yeah. like yes like a lot of alice and claire just kicking all the ass <laughs> and not caring <laughs> Like there's some, to take names. there's some really great one-liners by by those. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's very emotionally satisfying. I would say it is. Like it, the end gets a little emotional. Like it's a little touching. I'm like, oh. Like you, you might tear up if if it touches you in that way. If it does, it made it made me feel that way. <laughs> I got a little teary. I slipped it back up, but it was there. <laughs> <laughs> like, my heart doesn't beat, damn it. <laughs> no, I'm not doing this. Conceal. Don't, don't feel. feel. Don't let it show. <laughs> Had to channel my Elsa. Yo. But yeah, I don't, I never feel cheated in the movie. No. Because sometimes that happens, especially with like kind of finishing up movies. Yes, especially when there have been so many. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I feel like they honestly did a really good job. I feel like they... Put 110% into this last mm. movie. Exactly. And, like, I can't appreciate that they did almost leave it a little open-ended in case later on... Somebody, somebody else wants to pick it up. Exactly. Like, somebody else wanted to give it a shot. Okay. And so, I can appreciate that they still have that option. Mm -hmm. 
hope they don't really do it because I feel like it's good where it is. Right? Like, we don't need to pick it back up. <laughs> don't mess with the good thing. Okay. So I guess that concludes our Resident Evil, the final chapter review. Um, <laughs> if you saw it, what did you think? Uh, if you didn't see it, why not? Yeah. <laughs> like, Are you excited? Right? Yeah, talk about it. If you want to talk about the game, mention that in the comments below. Exactly. Yeah. Like, we want to know. Let's have nerdy discussion. Yes, yeah, talk nerdy too. <laughs> but yeah, leave it in the comments below. Hit the like button, subscribe, share it with your friends, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.